100 of the best Adopt Me trades. I'll be showing you successful trades, starting with some terrible ones, and making our way to the best trades possible. Before I show you the best trades, I think we should take a moment to appreciate the worst trades that people sent me, that they thought were good. This is a chocolate chip bat dragon, and they traded it for this. This was not a good trade at all, and unfortunately they thought it was good. Honestly, I don't know what these petwares are or what this scroll is, but I mean, they still got three legendaries for it. And they do have potions on, so technically Robux value, it's the equivalent, but in terms of pet value, I wouldn't say this is good. The next trade, this player traded a vampire dragon, the fallow deer, a candy cane hair, but the question is, what did they go and get for the trade? Wow. I feel like you could have got that trade just for the fallow deer. So they got themselves a snow owl, which is a nice pet, obviously, but it's not that valuable. The same as the other ones, just a random fly ride cat. And none of this is actually worth much of this at all. So they definitely took a big lose on this trade. The same as what this person took on this trade. This is a Capricorn. The only way to get it is by spending 1,200 Robux. And this is a lava dragon that you get by spending 1,000 Robux. So that's what, 2,200 Robux. And they got one pet worth 1,000 Robux. Um, in terms of preppiness, yeah, this one looks cooler, but um, in terms of value, they just traded a big overpay of over 1,000 Robux to try and get this pet. This player had a friendship level chick. Don't trade your friendship level pets, guys, and uh, no potion chicks are pretty valuable, and they traded it for a ride starfish, which is unfortunate since they're pretty easy to get and uh, the chick is never coming back in the game and is pretty difficult to trade for. This player has a turtle, seen as one of the most dream pets that many people want to go and get. So what did they go and trade this for? Now this, bit questionable. I mean, yeah, this might be actually a win to be honest. I'm not sure what category this should be under. Two werewolves? Werewolves are a lot of Robux to be fair. And then we're also getting a diamond ladybug, a dodo, a diamond unicorn, a golden griffin, and a golden dragon. It seems there's also some other random ads, so I wouldn't really say this is a bad trade, but they might have been able to get a little bit more, but in terms of value, that's probably pretty fair. So after I show you the bad trades, I'm going to go and show you the okay trades, and then the amazing trades. This is a ride potion. The value of a ride potion is on average 2-3 to three legendaries. So when this player goes and trades it for one legendary, unfortunately it's not really a win of a trade since you could typically go and get two to three legendaries per ride potion. This person also traded a fly ride turtle. Again, it's a great pet and what they got for it was a mega ride seagull. Now I know this is a difficult pet to get, but there's not much demand for it. No one says that their dream pet is a pet seagull. Which is why this pet isn't really, like, loved by anyone. Like, no one really likes this. I mean, yeah, it's a mega, it's a ride, and they're trading it for just one legendary. So, in terms of how long it took to get that, probably a long time. But, let me know in the comments if you think that one's a win or not. Let's now go and check out the medium win trade. So, this person traded a bunch of corgis, a ringed octopus, a ladybug. The ladybug does cost you Robux. And in return, they got a ride unicorn. Obviously, these are ultra rares, and they did manage to go and get a unicorn with a ride potion on it. Ride potions, of course, cost you Robux. Unicorns, you can't go and hatch them apart from the retired egg, which obviously you need VIP. So I'm gonna say that this is a medium trade since... So I'm gonna say that this is a medium trade as there's a bunch of ultra rares here and some of them have a pretty good value. This next trade is actually really interesting. I've not really seen a trade like this before. So they're trading two dire stags and uh, the alley corn and then a ride, a fly and a ride vampire dragon. And in return... This might confuse a bunch of you. They just got four vampire dragons. So there are some players out there who prefer to go and get uh, no potion pets since they technically do have a little bit higher value on special tier pets, which is why going and trading it for this might be kind of useful. So they technically traded 
um, these top three for an extra vampire dragon. So I'm going to say this is a win, but they did lose the ride potions and the fly potions. Uh, which is a bit of an interesting trade. I'm not sure how I feel about this. This is one, two, three, seven legendaries. Okay, that's a lot of legendaries. And an octopus is a very valuable legendary pet to have. The same as this legendary crab. It's actually really difficult to get. The top three legendaries, although they're an old pet, it is still a Robux pet, which is difficult to get. The same with these owls, they're pretty old now, and in return, they got a Neon Fly Ride Dragon. Realistically, they probably could have done this trade for like four of these legendaries, as these are high tier legendaries. And a dragon is seen as a pretty low tier legendary, but they're still getting a neon fly ride legendary. This person got a bat dragon, but the question is, what did they have to trade for it? Was this a win or a loss? To go and get a bat dragon these days, apparently you need a bunch of dragons, which is crazy because this is like the same pet value, right? This is like a thousand Robux worth when it released. And this is a thousand, this is a thousand. They traded like 10,000 plus Robux that they probably spent worth for a bad dragon. I mean, of course a bad dragon is great. It's also no potion making it valuable, but I'm not sure if this is a win or not. This player traded a ride potion, but what did they get for it? We know earlier that a ride potion is worth two to three legendaries. However, this person got a Scarecrow Crow. Now, why would this be a win? Uh, well, this is actually a difficult pet to get. It's a cool pet. It's a limited time pet, which probably will go and increase in value since everybody loves a pet crow. So, pretty good trade. This next trade, a player traded a Fly Ride Kangaroo, and in return, they got a Fly Ride Turtle. Why would this be a win? They're both legendaries. They both came out of the same pet. Well, people like the turtle a lot more than they like the kangaroo. I know it's technically the same pet, it came out of the same egg, so it should be the same value, but yeah, people love this pet a lot more than they love the kangaroo. I'm not sure why, they just do, in the same way that people go and like the gargoyle more than a billy goat, or a unicorn more than a dragon. You know how I said the Scarecrow Crow earlier has a pretty good value, which is why a ride potion for it was good? Well, here is proof. They traded their Scarecrow Crow, and they managed to get four legendaries in return. They got an Alicorn and three Dire Stags, so they managed to trade basically one ride potion into four different legendaries, which is actually pretty decent going and getting that. This person has a Mega Ride Ghost, and um, I wasn't sure that this would have that crazy value. Obviously, making a Mega is difficult, very time consuming, but this is a common pet, and they got so many good things. Look at all these fly potions, look at that crow, and some very random ads. This was definitely a win, as I think I traded my Mega Ghost for something terrible in comparison to this. That is crazy, because each Fly Potion is worth a minimum of three legendaries. So what? They got three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, sixteen legendaries, basically. Uh, which is the world's biggest overpay I think I have ever seen for a Ghost. This is a very strange trade, and I don't know why anyone would accept this, but a Ginger Cat and a Ride Ocelot in return for a Neon Ocelot, a Badger, a Bee, and all of these other Robux and Rare Pets. Why would they do that? I don't know. It does say that they're friends, so maybe we should take it as they're doing it as a bit of a, a joke trade, or they owe them the pets. I'm not sure, but that is a crazy overpay, which I don't understand. This one, I'm not really sure about. They traded a Ride Dancing Dragon, and these are really rare. And difficult to get but what they got in return was an axolotl which is what 600 robux and then a fly ride rgb squid these pets are so difficult to go and get the squids do have a lot of value but so does the dancing dragon so i probably say that's maybe like fair or maybe they even took a loss trading this i'm not too sure this player is happy with this trade but they traded a neon fly ride octopus for a kangaroo i'm not too sure in terms of value 
but a Neon Legendary for one regular, I don't really think that that's the best trade you could have done. I think this person who traded the Octopus probably took a bit of a lose. But the Octopus is an older pet, so it depends how you see it, I guess. They're probably pretty fair trade. Okay, I take that back. The way that they got the Shark Puppy was by trading three hippos and this little pet. I forgot what that one's called. They traded four of these for that, so they got actually a massive win. That's such a good trade, because these pets don't have much value to trade it into the shark puppy. I don't know how they managed that. This is a very interesting trade. They traded a fly ride frost dragon. We know how valuable this pet is. And in return, they got a mega fly ride emperor gorilla. Now, that is one of the most expensive Robux pets you could ever possibly get, based on the amount of Robux that it would cost to open that many boxes and to trade for it. However, there was a duplication glitch that would allow any player to turn a regular Mega Neon Gorilla into a Mega Neon Emperor Gorilla, which means that this pet is not really worth much since the duplication glitch literally allowed some crazy things to go and happen and yeah the whole gorilla thing i don't think anyone really discussed it apart from me so you might not even know about the whole mega neon duplication error that happened during that update let's now get into the biggest win trades possible starting off with this player trading a ghost dog i kind of completely forgot that a ghost dog exists and look what they got in return that's actually a pretty good win i mean they got a bunch of pets and uh, this is an ultra rare, and yeah, that's definitely a win for me. They traded a ghost for a ghost and a bee. I'm imagining that this person's ghost was maybe full grown. It doesn't fully explain, but if you fully age up a pet and somebody wants a fully aged up one uh, to go and make a neon, then they'll definitely go and overpay you for it. Neon therapy dog. This pet is actually really difficult to go and get. It was only available for a very limited time and cost a bunch of bucks, and they added a sandwich. It's always funny when someone adds a sandwich but they did get a christmas egg this is the classic christmas egg not the most recent one or the april fool's egg people like to mix those things up together but this is a very valuable egg and everyone kind of hatched them which is why it's so valuable this is a japan egg and in return they got themselves a ghost wolf and a lava wolf you see the lava wolf is actually really difficult to get and it does have a lot of value. Not many people got this pet. It came out of a pet box that was very expensive and the odds were very low, meaning that going and getting this pet it was pretty difficult. I think this trade is probably a troll, but they traded a regular dog and in return, they got a bunch of pets. I'm not sure if this was a prank or if they were just poor and this person was helping them out, but that's a big win for a regular dog. This player traded a fly ride turtle, but what can you get for a fly ride turtle? Pretty decent amount of things. So why is this good? Well, this is 600 Robux. This is 1000 Robux. And uh, the rest of these pets do maintain a high value. You can see that's a gold horn. That's the top of the horns. That's a Kitsune and that's a golden mummy cat. So there is some good pets in the mix. And obviously some of these pets are old and valuable. So I'd say that's pretty decent for one pet. A fly ride ancient dragon. Everyone loves the ancient dragon. I barely see neons of this pet in return they got this so a fly ride red dragon is already worth more value than the ancient dragon because this is older and you can't obtain it as easily but then they received a neon pet and then a bunch of ultra rares which is actually really useful so that's a pretty big win considering they just traded a fly ride uh, ancient dragon for all of this oh and the trade even continues they got a bunch more random ads for that ancient dragon trade kind of cool oh and this is the other half of the fly ride uh turtle so yeah it's actually really good because that, we didn't know a minute ago that they got all of these eggs as well as an added bonus on top of what we just showed you that's actually really good i'm not sure if this trade actually went through as this isn't like a successful trade this is just a screenshot of them pressing accept so i doubt that this player accepted the scarecrow cat for all of this because that would be such an overpay if they did accept this but hey they might have done so i told you earlier that ride potions can get you a bunch of legendaries and I wasn't kidding. This person got three legendaries 
a very rare ultra rare, some legendary pet wear, some wings, wings are really difficult to get, and then three chests. That is probably the best trade I have ever seen for a ride potion in Adopt Me. That's actually amazing. This person traded a slime, which is a very cool preppy pet. Everyone loved the slime. In return, they got a kit soon, which is pretty decent. This trade might actually blow your mind. They traded a ride potion for a Capricorn. And as we said earlier, the Capricorn cost you over a thousand robux and they got this little uh cat the golden cat wow that's actually crazy that they got a 1000 robux pet uh for a literal ride potion i don't know how they managed that maybe they didn't realize what this pet was the scarecrow crow actually does have a really good value maybe i should just be trying to trade for these as this person traded their scarecrow crow for a dragonfly a red panda a pheasant, um, some cockroaches, and a slug. I always forget that there's a slug in a dummy. I don't think anyone equips that pet slug, which is a shame. It's a very funny pet. Is this a win? I'm not too sure. They traded a ride vampire dragon for a neon ride dodo. Obviously, the vampire dragon does cost you a thousand robux, but this is a neon dodo we're talking about, which is a very old pet nowadays, so I'm not sure who actually took the win on this one. These neon ghosts have such a good value, and you won't believe what this person traded for it. Look at that. Wow, each Neon Ghost is worth like two and a half legendaries is basically what this means. And yeah, they included a T-Rex, which is a valuable legendary, alongside some Hawks. These are pets that people have really want to get their hands on. So that's actually really good for just two Neon Ghosts. Wow, I should try and trade mine. All right, this is a Dire Stag for a Hot Doggo. I'm pretty sure this was a Robux pet, right? Why would they do that? That's crazy. Yeah, this is one of the best wins we have seen today. A free Frost Dragon. Um, it does say that it's from their friend. They scribbled out their friend. So we have one of two options. They either scammed their friend or their friend borrowed it. Um, hopefully they didn't scam anybody. This person traded 18 ermines. Honestly, I don't know why anyone would want that many ermines. It's literally an uncommon pet that was really easy to get. And in return, they got a vampire dragon. It's not even like the ermines were full grown or anything. They were just a bunch of newborn ermines. I don't know why you would do this trade. It's not actually their friend. And they accepted this. This was an actual trade. It says you could report it. That is crazy. I wish I would find someone who would do this trade. Please, let me know in the comments if you want my ermines. I will trade it for your vampire dragons. This person apparently got a free neon fly ride vampire dragon. Hopefully they did not scam someone, but hey, it's a win if you got it for free somehow. A ride potion for a shark. Okay, so a shark is actually a high tier legendary. I know we can go and typically get two to three legendaries per ride potion, but a shark is a pretty high tier legendary and people do like it, which is why I'm saying that this is probably a win, but hey, it depends. I'm not really sure the official like value of it. They traded a fly and a ride potion. Obviously a fly potion is what, 295 Robux. Ride potion is a hundred and something, so that's 450 Robux ish worth, plus a random chef gorilla. And in return, they got a ride vampire dragon. So we can take away the ride potion, and uh, you're basically trading a fly potion and a gorilla for a vampire dragon, which is um, actually insane. Where are people finding these trades? I have no clue. But I want to find these people so I can get rid of my potions because I do not get these good offers. This is a chicken. We all know that a chicken is an old, valuable pet, which is difficult to go and get. And in return, they got a neon chicken. Why? Uh, well, it came from a YouTuber. People will uh, just just do trolls or uh, overpays. So Jeffo likes chickens. He was probably filming a video about trading them. So he traded a neon for a regular no potion. Obviously, no potion is rare but definitely a massive win trading a regular for a neon. They traded a no potion kangaroo, but what did they go and get for it? Whoa, okay, this is very valuable. 
This is Robux, 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 valuable, valuable, and it gets better because there is a bunch of ads, a field mouse difficult to get. These are some rare legendaries, and it seems there's a shark down here. I'm not sure what this one is, but all of that just for one kangaroo. This is so much Robux that they probably spent on all of these pets. Thousands of Robux. Since that's like 600, that's 600. That's already 1,200 Robux. And they're trading that just for a kangaroo. I think that's a pretty big win. Okay, so this the other half of the trade. Wow, that actually was a really big win. Look how many legendaries they got. They got the dragon. They got a ride lava a wolf. And uh, a bunch of random pets, including the neon poodle. One of the preppiest pets that people will overpay you for just because it looks cute. I really hope that this trade is a prank because they just traded a piranha or whatever this fish is and they got a ride potion. But the thing is, this was an actual trade. Like this was confirmed. Um, That person probably reported it. <laughs> Maybe they got scammed. Why would you trade that for a ride potion? Honestly, I have no idea. But I have about 100 of these fish. So... If anyone wants to do this trade, do let me know. This is a very strange story. So they traded a sandwich into a buffalo or an ox. They then traded one into two, and then they traded two into a dinosaur. So uh, quite a big upgrade, and that happened. Hey, actually, that took five minutes, and then it took um, half an hour. So was a bit of a time difference between them, but that is very of a random trade story. What other trades are good? Probably when I go and give away free pets to my fans. That's right, I literally give away completely free legendaries to people just for fun. For example, this person just got a free ladybug. This person got a free red panda. And I give away so many of these pets completely for free to my subscribers. In total, this video does feature up to 100 trades. Comment your favorite pet, like this video, and subscribe for a chance for me to give you a completely free legendary. Click here to watch me trade from an egg to a mega neon legendary. I think you're going to love this video, click here right now to watch it next.